Robert and this is my wife Sarah, our sons Brody and our little guy Cole. I moved from the farm next door here in the fall of 98. Um, when I moved here there wasn't any trees or any landscaping done at all. It was just a pasture field so in the spring of 99 I planted about a thousand trees around the acreage and moved a mobile home on and it was like that up till 08 when we started to build our house here and once we built our house then uh, we were moved in in the spring of in 2009 when Brody was born so we decided we better do something with uh, the land. We planted grass and uh, didn't have very good luck the first year the the first winter was very dry and windy so we lost a bunch of our topsoil here on the on the south side where the wind blew so we've had our issues of trying to get grass to grow as you can see some still trying to grow and uh, then this year we added our pond and waterfall that was supposed to be a five-year project which turned into a two-month project yeah still work in progress we add a little bit each year um, we added some trees down by the the swings there for for some shade for our two dogs. We've tried to keep it really open so that the boys have lots of room to, to play. And um, yeah, yeah, tried to keep it really natural. Growing up in the farm and that, I just couldn't imagine ever moving into town. Um, just being out, being out in the peace and quiet and having lots of room to run around. And I had a big yard growing up, or a decent sized yard. Um, of course, you always wanted a bigger when, as a kid to play play ball or shoot a golf ball or especially hockey kind of thing so I just wanted for our boys to have a big yard and so they have the opportunity to do whatever they want and not not worry about smashing a ball through a window or put a puck through the dad's shop doors <laughs> so um, and we just you know like the county like being in the area um, like I said I couldn't imagine living in town so or anywhere yeah. else. I mean, yeah. we've been to lots of different areas around Alberta and the world and it's always best to come back home. <laughs>